Welcome back to the channel, I'm Jay Malone. Today, I have five tips for you to help you to create more interesting photos. If this is your first time to the channel and you enjoy photography, drones, technology, and other related things, then start off by hitting that subscribe button. When you do, tap the little bell icon next to it. That way you won't miss anything. Today I'm coming at you with five quick tips of things that you can do to create more interesting photos. Be sure to stick around to the end because I'll share my favorite with you at the end. For number one, we're gonna start off with photographing up close or zooming in tight. And as you can see in these photos, I have zoomed in tight on something that's just a mundane object, such as a soundboard at the church and, and cropped in really tight to get this photo, as well as some of these other photos you'll see here of a guitar and an amp where you don't even see the whole guitar, or much less the whole amp, uh, just a portion of it. Maybe it's a turtle that you want to crop in really close on, get in really tight, be careful, make sure it's not a snapping turtle or you might regret that flowers, anything else that you can find. Check out these vegetables that I cropped in really close on, uh, filled the frame, and I think it turned out really cool. I also used this recently at a car show when I was photographing some automobiles. I decided to crop in really close to get some interesting photos. Tip number two is for you to try photographing at night. This might require you getting a tripod of some kind as well as playing around with slow shutter on your camera. But these results that you can get by photographing at night are amazing. You can see here, I was photographing a bridge in Little Rock at night. It was lit up, it looked great. You can also photograph the moon, you can photograph the stars. Check this picture out. This is my neighborhood at 10.30 p.m. You can almost make things look like daylight. Check out the shooting star that I caught just the other night during the meteor shower that we had. And take a look at this picture of downtown Little Rock. I actually climbed on the roof of my hotel and I set up my tripod with a very slow shutter and caught the light trails at night downtown Little Rock. And I think this one is amazing. I love it. Tip number three is try creating silhouettes. You can do this by having the sun directly behind your object or even just having a bright light behind your object. But take a look at some of these silhouettes. You can see here that I just photographed trees, photographed water tower, actually photographed someone holding up their hands to make a heart symbol here with the sun setting behind them. Or check out these ducks or geese or whatever it was that was flying in front of the sun here. This is also a way to silhouette something. I think silhouettes make for a very compelling image that draws the eye into your subject. Tip number four, which could be the most beneficial tip for you, is to photograph at the magic hour or golden hour as some people call it which is 30 minutes before sunset or 30 minutes after sunset. Not only can you capture some amazing looking sunsets at this time, but your photos just take on a brand new look, a coloring, something that is just very different. And by photographing at the golden hour, you can photograph at the time when the artificial lighting is closely balanced to the ambient light. You can see in this picture that I photographed in McDonald's, you can check out the lights that had came on in McDonald's, uh, as well as the sunset, the sky that was behind. Um, I think this image is pretty awesome. You can also see, check out this image. This was actually photographed with my cell phone, um, as well as this one was snapped through a window with my cell phone uh, while I was visiting someone in the hospital. But you can see how the lights actually balance with the ambient light, and this is a great time to capture images like this. Tip number five is to use reflections. This is probably one of my favorite things to do. Anytime that I get the chance, I love capturing the reflection of the sky, of the sun, uh, into water. It doesn't have to be a big body of water. In fact, you can see my video that I created on this right up here by clicking in the card up here. That'll take you to video. I also photographed underneath the bridge. I caught the reflection of the bridge in the river and I thought this was a very cool photo. But as you can see, you don't always have to include a lot of the sky. I got up close, down on the ground, photographed some rocks in a little mud hole with a leaf and was able to get this photo here. 
Of course, the magic hours we just talked about uh, is a great time to capture these photos, so keep that in mind. And that's my five tips to help you to create more interesting photos. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one of these tips was your favorite and which one of these are you gonna try. If you wanna see some more of my videos, click over here. And if for some reason you're not already subscribed to this channel, click on my face in the circle subscribe icon right below this video. That'll get you subscribed. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.